We welcome you back to the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. We're here at the Tropicana Resort and Casino on the Strip in Las Vegas. I'm Barry Tompkins. You know my partner, Michael Koenig. We have had three players qualify for our first million-dollar qualifying table. Rowena Kolkoff came all the way from Birmingham, England, to take it down the first week. And then it was a guy from up in Minnesota, Andrew Rogers, who won the $25,000 and a chance to qualify in week two. And then in week three, another person from England. It was John Bowman. He he took down the money and a chance to qualify for a million dollars. And, Michael, what really strikes me about this whole event is it's about much more than poker. These people have to think about a lot. You know, Barry, our players can be forgiven for feeling a little bit like laboratory rats. This dome behind us is the most state-of-the-art poker table ever invented. Our players are wearing heart monitors. They're subject to a time clock. And the audience behind us can see their whole cards just at the same time that you're seeing them at home. It's the ultimate examination. Just getting started this week, but let's take a look at the chip count. Corey Ann Joseph having won that first hand and winning so in a pretty good sized pot. 63,000. She's our chip leader. Marissa Chen at 51,000. Brett Burdick hasn't had a chance to play very much at 49. Jack McQueen at 49. Watanabe also has been a participant. George Shortstack, but he can get a little back. He's at 40,000. Fold. C2 fold, C3 fold, fold, C4 fold. The pocket rockets, check on C5 check. Just don't see him getting any business out of the seven deuce. Looks like it. I raised 2,000. C6 makes it 3,000 total. Oh, C5 fold. Yeah. That's what happens when the best hand in poker goes against right. the worst hand. Usually they're <laughs> check. That's wow. exactly right. Tough time to get that hand. I'm sure he was. That's part of the luck of the oh. game. Not only Let's getting to dealt with the pocket pairs, but having a situation to oh. maximize for profit. Little pair here from Burdick. Fold. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm check. C6 checks. Check. C1 checks. We have three players. Another set. But I think you'll get a little play here. C6 check. Check. C1 two checks. Pair. Very easy to get it back here. And Watanabe, with the weakest hand, leads into the pot. Call. C6 calls 3,000. I call. C1 calls 3,000. I like the Queen's call and I like Burke's call. They're both disguising the strength of their hand. Watanabe with the pair. Check. C6 checks. Wow. How much is the pot? Pot is 12,000. Burke's heart rate. 6,000. C1 bet 6,000. I like to bet half the pot. What now? He probably needs to fold here with that second pot. two folds. Now, McQueen, I, I know his impulse is to raise here, Barry. He loves his hand on the flop, and he can't imagine the four raise. changed anything. And he does say raises. Raise. 15,000? 15,000 total. 15,000. Hey, 11 more to you, sir. Long. Look. And that's a great move. Burdick knows that he's going to play here, but he needs Nine more to time extension. And what he's signaling to his opponent that he's going to raise the pot. Re-raise 57,000. Re-raise. Okay. 57,000. Burdick's a win. Is there any way that we can get away from his two pair here? Time. Put me on. Okay. Thirty seconds to complicate here. Barry, what's going through the Queen's mind right now is did that fall for forty-five thousand? Help forty-five thousand is the total. He he can't imagine that his opponent actually had him beat on the flop. It was so well disguised. And this is what happens when two players both have good hands are trying to trap each other. So a deep fold. Wow, what a great fold there. He keeps himself in the tournament, and Burdick takes down a big pot. A huge pot for Burdick, and that will really set him in very good straights. Burdick, just uh, a senior at Amherst in Massachusetts. He is a guy, Burdomania, he says. He thinks of himself as being bigger than life its own self. Well, I'm a senior communication major at, uh, at UMass Amherst. And I also run tournaments once or twice a month and play in them as well. And some people have questioned that 
on running the tournament and then winning it as well. They might be questioning maybe the decks uh, being a little cold towards other players, but I have no comment on that. Well, he should have a comment on the hand that was just played, though. Yeah, I thought Burdick played it really well, and I'm really impressed with the Green's pose. ability to get away from such a big hand oh, after yeah, making such a large investment. We're pose. seeing some very high-quality play out of our competitors. Very much so. The Green comes pose. right back with a nice hand. Ace Queen will probably want to raise You're not going to attack me, are you? Uh, I'll raise. C6 oh. rises. 2,000. Solid play over there. Oh, man. Uh, all right. C1 falls. All yours. C2 calls, so close. heads up. So two players now. Look. Deuce, nine, four. Okay. Queen has a superior position. He gets to act last for the rest of the hand. He needs to bet here. 6,000. 6,000 is the bet to Watanabe now. And that should work. Watanabe needs to say sayonara. And does. Queen will win this one. So it's a very solid play here. Good decision making all around this table right now. Verdict has won the biggest hand of the match so far. We've got much more to talk about. We'll do it after this.